This is Bustin' Loose in Faith with Apostle Tebow and Prophet Tebow. This broadcast airs every Friday on My Gospel Soul at 12 p.m. Central Time. Bustin' Loose in Faith is a seed of faith evangelistic outreach ministry. We come to bring you word, praise, and inspiration. We want you to remember that without faith, it's impossible to please God. But with God, all things are possible. Make sure you share this show at 347 826-9434 Bustin' Loose and Faith Ministers would love to hear from you. Now, let's get into our broadcast with none other than Apostle Dudley Tebo and Prophetess Lisa Tebo right here on My Gospel Soul. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. God is good and worthy to be praised on, praise on, glory. All honor belongs to him this night and forevermore. Oh, Heavenly Father, as we approach the throne of grace, we come to you humbling ourselves and be thy mighty hand tonight. Just a thank you and a praise in your Lord for your glory, your mercy, and your love. Just a thank you and a praise in you for who you are, that you are God, and besides me, there is no other to worship in spirit and in truth. Oh, Heavenly Father, if I decrease, let the Spirit of the Lord in me increase. Hide me behind Calvary's cross and mark these lips with clay. Use me, Father God, for thy glory in Jesus' precious and holy name. Oh, Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you for your word here tonight. I thank you as we invite the presence of the Holy Spirit. Come on in like a rushing mighty wind. Lead God, direct, and ordain our footsteps. We bind up all technical difficulties, anything that will try to hinder the word of God. From going forward, and Father, we'll give you the praise, the glory, and the honor here this night. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you in advance for answering prayers, honoring requests, but most of all, precious Father, for salvation to go forth. Deal with people's hearts. Bring them to the saving knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, in 2022. And Father, we'll give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. If you have your Bible, amen, I would like you to open up to the book of Romans, chapter 5, and verses, Romans, chapter 5, and verse 21. Hallelujah. And we'll also be looking at um, Ephesians, chapter 2, verses 7 through 10. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is good and worthy to be Praise. Hallelujah. Excuse me, I'm sorry. In, in the book of Romans 5 and verse 12. Thank you, Jesus. Romans 5 and verse 12. And the word of God says, Hallelujah. For you, Lord, will bless the righteous with favor. You will surround him as with a shield. Also in Romans 5, hallelujah, excuse me, Ephesians 2, verse 7 through 10, that in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God had before ordained that we should walk in them. This is the word of God for the people of God. May the Lord add a blessing to the hearers and the doers 
of his word. My brothers and sisters in Christ, as we come to you today, in that name that is above every other name, we just like to pray for us and with us as we lift up Jesus' name, as, as we speak for his word with clarity. We pray that, that, that God will prepare your heart to receive his word in spirit and in truth. Through the use of the internet and these airways, we just hope and pray that the anointing of God and what you're believing him for, that he will touch you and encourage you for this week's journey. Brothers and sisters in Christ, when we look at the book of Ephesians and we look at how good God is, Bible says in Ephesians 2, verse 8, for by grace ye have been saved through faith and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. Beloved, grace is unmerited favor. God's grace is the power that changes t- things to us. Beloved, we are saved by God's grace. Here it says in referring to Ephesians 2 and verse 8, to be saved means to be delivered to be protected, to be preserved, to be healed, and made whole. I'm going to say it again for those who are listening in. This this should bring excitement to your sanctified soul. To be saved spiritually, it means to be delivered, to be protected, to be preserved, to be healed, and made hope. You see, God's grace, it covers all, every area of our lives. God has taken care of everything we need or we will ever need concerning our spirit, our soul, and our body. God's supernatural grace is so vast, so bountiful, boundless, and endless. Here, when we look at the word of God in the book of Romans 5, verse 8, it says, but God demonstrated his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. God's grace is God's grace is good. God's grace, it helps us along the way. Just for these next few minutes of I may, uh, the teaching topic would be you must release your faith in order to receive God's grace. You must release your faith in order to receive God's grace. You know, a lot of time, my brothers and sisters in Christ, we want all that God has for us quick and in a hurry. But I stop by to let you know that God the God of, that we serve, the God that we serve, he is a patient God. He is, he is a patient God. And he is a God that still sits high and look low. He is a God that is willing and able 
to meet our each and every need in our lives. Sometimes we get in a hurry. We want to get in a hurry to try to force the hand of God. But I stopped by tonight to let you know you could receive God's grace, but God will release it in his time. When he sees that it is needed to be released. But again, my brothers and sisters in Christ, we have to understand God wants to release it. He'll do his part. But we got to do ours. And in order to light up with God's agenda or his program, we have to do it by faith. See, the Bible says in Hebrews 11 and 1 that now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. But we drop down a little bit further. We're in the, we're in the Romans, hallelujah, the 11th chapter, verse 6. It says, but without faith, it is impossible to please God. That them that come to God must believe that he is who he said he is. And he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, God's grace is unfavored. God's grace is unfavored, unmerited favor for a child of God. When we look in again at Romans 5, verse 8, it says, but God demonstrated his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Beloved, it was God's grace and work in your life that enabled you to experience the born again experience. It enabled you to come to Christ, tore down from the floor. It enabled you to get the revelation of being born again on a spiritual level. I stop by to let you know that the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, if any man or woman be in Christ, they are a brand new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new on a spiritual level. From the moment that you step into that new life, that new life, the born again spiritual life, the moment you made Jesus the Lord and Savior of your soul, end of your life, God's favor began working nonstop on your behalf. You see, being born again spiritually was just the starting place for God's favor to be poured out. Believe of Christ, God will pour out grace and more favor to you every every moment of your life if you will receive it. You see, we God God is always faithful. He's faithful to himself and he's faithful to his word. But we as his children, we some kind sometimes get a little bit slack on doing our part in order to land up with what God wants to do in our lives. So we as believers of Christ, as a child of God, we must line up. We must come to God by faith. We must accept what the word says about us and confess it over our lives on a daily basis. Again, at the moment 
you gave your life to Christ. It is the very moment in your life that the grace of God was poured out. And it's still being poured out where you have the excess of God's grace 24 hours a day. Your life, in your life, you're the one that activated. You're the one that has to plug in in what God wants to wants to give you. See, the Bible says, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall act what you will, and it shall be given to you. But again, this is done by faith. Everything we get from God, every promise is that comes to pass in our life is done by faith. You see, the word of God reminds us as our foundational scripture tonight in Psalms 5, verse 12. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. Who will do the blessing? The Lord. Again, my brothers and sisters in Christ, that's what we want. We want God's blessing on our lives. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous with favor, God's favor. And you will surround him as with a shield. Believe of Christ, that scripture is talking about the born-again child of God who serve him daily. So child of God, when God, when, excuse me, child of God, when Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, when Jesus shed his blood on Calvary, he made righteousness available to all mankind. And with it came the favor of God. If I was you, I would, I would, I would grab a piece of a sheet of paper and a pen and write down this spiritual nugget right here. I'm going to repeat it. So, God, when Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, when he shed his blood, on Calvary Hill. He made righteousness available to all mankind. And when it came, the favor of God. Now, if that didn't get you excited, I don't know what will. As a child of God, you should be rejoicing right now. You should be thanking God for his grace his mercy, his love, that he loads us down with benefits each and every day of our lives. Thank God that we serve a merciful, gracious, awesome God in 2022. You see, God's favor surrounds you. As a born-again believer, as a child of God, his favor surrounds you continuous and constantly. God's favor surrounds you and your God's favor surrounds you consistent, uh, constantly and your faith releases it. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, when we Look around in 2022. We see the chaos that is happening all around us. We hear, we hear about wars and rumors of wars. Just like what we see that's happening on the TV screen between Russia 
in Ukraine. This is the beginning of what Jesus spoke about, about birth pains being birthed on planet Earth. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, even the Earth is, is crying out and waiting for the manifestation of the, of the sons and daughters of the Most High God. We live in an hour and a day to where we as the church must rise up out of the slumber that we've been in so long. We must rise up and become the light of the world that we may be able to share with the world and influence them for the hope that lies within us. Jesus, Christ, the author and finisher of all things. See, the Bible says that God has favored you and I as his children. He has favored us in this hour. Word of God says in 2 Chronicles 16, verse 9, it tells us that the eyes of the Lord runs to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfected towards him. You see, the word perfected does not mean that someone who never makes a mistake. No, the word perfect means that it refers to someone who is loyal, devoted, and faithful. You see, this type, this pan of heart is always ready to receive the good things that God's grace provides. Yes, believer of Christ, God is always searching for someone to bless. I'm going to say this again for those that, that may have, hallelujah, have dozed off a little bit. This, this should get you excited. If you're a child of God, hallelujah, if you love the Lord in 2022, believe in Christ, God is always searching for someone to bless. Because that is his nature. You see, God is full of mercy and full of compassion. Beloved, because of God's grace, his favor, he looks for someone who is ready to trust him. Someone who is ever ready to reach out in faith to receive God's favor and God's blessing. To the word of God says in Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6, for us to trust in the Lord with all of our heart and lead not to our own understanding and all of our ways to acknowledge him and he shall direct our path. So I stop by tonight just to encourage you to give you a word of encouragement and exhortation. Hallelujah. We, as God's child, as God's children, we must release our faith in order to receive God's grace. We must do our part in order for God to do his. Yes, beloved, God is good. Child of God, are you that type of person? Are you the kind of person who is trustworthy? Someone who is ready, who is willing to receive God's blessing and God's favor. 
The Bible says in the book of Matthew 6, verse 33, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Believer of Christ, if you would like to see God open the door to the favor and grace of God, you must find out what God says in his word. Then you will discover the countless ways that God desires to bless you. Oh, yes. You know I'm going to say it again. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If you want to find out what God says in his word, then you will have to discover the countless ways that God desires to bless you. As a believer of Christ, you must believe God's word. And you must expect in order to receive. Bible says that again in Psalms 5 verse 12, for thy art Lord will bless the righteous with favor. Will thou compass or surround me as with a shield? For thou art Lord will bless the righteous. In other words, a person that is in right standing with him. He will bless the righteous with favor, God's favor. And he will surround him or her as with a shield. God, God is good and he's worthy to be praised. So, beloved, everywhere you go and everything you do, you can confess over your life that I am favorite of God. Believer of Christ, you must release your faith for God's favor to be to come upon you. You see, God's favor is yours. But you're the one that has to activate it in order for it to become productive and be effective in your life. Bible says here in the book of Romans 5, verse 1 and 2, therefore being justified by faith, we have peace with God. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace, wherein we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. You must release your faith in order to receive God's grace. What a word. What what a word to hold on to. God is awesome, y'all. And he's worthy to be praised. All praise, all glory, all honor belongs to him. This day, and forevermore. God's grace favors you. Oh, yes, it does. Again, you must release your faith in order to receive God's grace. Brothers and sisters in Christ, here on a Tuesday night, as we cross over into a brand new month in March 2000, 
and 22. God, he wants to do great things in our lives. But we must align ourselves with his agenda. Align ourselves in right standing with him. Because time is wrapping up. Time is not like it once was. When we look around, we see the earth is a can rapidly. We see sin is running rapid throughout the land. People is getting more wicked than ever. But we as God's grace, we as God's people, have kept us here by his grace, his mercy, and his love. Because we still, each and every one of us, that is his, has, a, has an assignment to complete. So we must work while it is a day. For night cometh when no man or woman can work. Again, tonight, we are speaking about God's favor. You, my brothers and sisters in Christ, you individually must release your faith in order to receive God's grace. Yes, child of God, do not waver in your faith. Receive God's favor. No matter how the situation looks like. I'm going to repeat that because somebody needs to hear. If it's not for you, then it's for me. Child of God, don't waver in your faith in 2022. Receive God's favor. No matter how the situation, circumstances look like. You see, receiving God's favor by faith, it is a simple act done on your part. As a believer of Christ, get into God's word for yourself. Study to show yourself approved unto God. A workman that needed not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Put the word of God into your heart and speak it out of your mouth. Believe the word of God and act on it and then receive it. As a child of God, there is no situation or no circumstances, nothing that is stronger than the grace of God. See, God's favor is around us constantly, 24 hours a day. So, beloved, expect great things to happen in 2022. Believe of Christ, you must release your faith for God's favor. You must release your faith for God's favor in your life. Here in the word of God, when we look at Second Peter chapter 1, verse 2, it says, grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus, our Lord. You see, beloved, child of God, believer of Christ, grace, which is the unmerited favor of God, and peace can be multiplied to you. Here, when we talk about peace, the peace of God, peace is the word that means shalom in the Hebrew. Its definition includes wholeness, health, safety, 
and provision. So, child of God, when you walk in divine favor and peace, you will walk in God's blessing in every area of your life. Again, child of God, when you walk in divine favor and in peace, you will walk in blessings in all areas of your life. Releasing your faith for God's favor. A question may be asked, preacher, how do the grace and peace of God increase in my life? Well, I'm glad you asked. As a believer of Christ, it is not by your laboring or by your calling in order for you to earn it. You see, the word of God says that it comes on as your knowledge of Jesus and his finished work increase in your life. Yes, my brothers and sisters, God's favor, it comes as we learn more about and we believe that through Jesus, that one sacrifice at the cross, that God removed all our sins and gave us his righteousness as a gift and put us in Christ in order to enjoy everything that God has. You see, God's favor is multiplied in our lives when we simply believe that the favor of God which is on Christ, is also on us because of what Jesus worked at the cross, because of what Jesus did at the cross and what his cross has accomplished. Child of God, release your faith by spending forth Time in God's word. You do this by faith. Everything we get from God is by faith. We as his child, we should speak over our lives that God's favor surrounds us as a shield. Every day of your life, Child of God, again, we must speak it out. You see, when God, in the book of Genesis, when he spoke into the darkness and he said, let that be light, he did something that we should be doing as followers of Christ. And that is to speak faith-filled words into our lives. Remember what, what is in your heart. Eventually the mouth will speak. So put God's word. Let it go from the top of your head all the way to the depths of your heart. Then confess God's word over you, over your family, each and every day of your life. Speak for life. So that God's favor surrounds you as a shield. Beloved, as you continue on a daily basis to speak God's favor over your life, out of a revelation, out of a revelation that Jesus finished work, you will see more of God's favor being released on your life. Again, my brothers and sisters in Christ, God's favor surrounds us. And here and your and your faith releases it. 
your faith, my faith, every believer in Christ's faith releases God's favor on, on our lives. Yes, always remember that God's favor surrounds you continuously. In the book of Psalms, when we read in Psalms 90, verse 17, the word says, and let the beauty of the Lord, let the beauty of the Lord be upon us and establish thou the work of our hands upon us. Yea, the work of our hands establish thou it. Believe of Christ, when you open your heart to God, wisdom, to God, favor, everything else in your life is impact. Not only will God re-energize your spiritual life, but there will be a transformation of your health, your wealth, your finance, and relationship as well. Oh, I'm going to have to say this again because it's good. Let this marinate in your spirit for a while. As a believer of Christ, when you open your heart to God's wisdom and favor, everything else in your life is impact. Not only will God re-energize your spiritual life, but there will be a transformation of your health, your wealth, your finances, and your relationship as well. The Bible says in the book of Psalms 34, verse 10, the because of the verse, but they that seek the law shall not lack or want any good thing. You see, God's favor is all that we need. In fact, God's favor, it shines us the brightest. In the middle of dark days, and indeed, my brothers and sisters in Christ, in 2022, we are living in dark, sinful days. But God's, God's favor can shine the brightest in the middle of, the, of these dark days. You see, God is set to favor you. God is set to favor you as his child. Something good is coming your way. But we have to, we have, to have a spirit of expectancy. We have to have a, we have to be in faith and have the patience to believe it's coming. Sometimes we as brothers and sisters in Christ, we confess things over our lives. Even when it comes to God's word. But then after a while, if it didn't come as quick as we thought it should have come, we're ready to throw in the towel and give up. I stop by tonight to let you know the God that we serve is a God of patience. He's a God that's not in a hurry. He's a God that will bring it to pass, but we have to have the faith and the endurance to hang on in there until God seems to see fit to release what he has. For us, God's favor will position you if you allow him to do so. God's favor 
is the guarantee, is the guarantee of his presence and the provision of his power to accomplish his special purpose in and through our lives. You see, it is intended not for your own convenience, but for his purpose, for God's purpose. And it does not mean that you, as a child of God, that in your life, that things are going to get any easier. In fact, it is almost guaranteed that your life is going to get harder. Because the Bible says all that will live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. You see, beloved, here in 2022, we need, at this hour, we need God's favor in order to do what he has called us to do. You see, as a child of God, even though you cannot achieve or manipulate the favor of God, there are still ways to better position yourself in order to receive God's favor. You see, beloved, God wants to favor those who diligently and fervently seek him. Again, we are reminded in the book of Psalm 5, verse 12. It says, O Lord, you bless the righteous, and you surround them with your favor as with a shield. Child of God, you live in the favor of the Lord. One of the keys in order to live in the favor of God is through prayer. Prayer is essential. Prayer is not optional. But child of God, prayer can be affected if we do our part in prayer. So the Bible says that in First Thessalonians five seventeen to pray without ceasing. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, we must realize that prayer is a major key in maintaining the right relationship with God and to live in the favor of the Lord in 2022. Word of God says in Second Chronicles 7, 14, if my people, which is called by my name, would just humble themselves, seek my faith, pray, Turn from that wicked way. Then when I hear from heaven, forgive their sin and heal the land. So prayer is a must. It's not something that we can put put down until Sunday morning. No, prayer. We must be a student of prayer. A believer that constantly Pray when things are going good. Pray when things are is going not so good. We must go in our own personal secret closet and pray. Have a devotional time set to where we can talk to God about the things that we are going through. We need God to move in this, in this hour. We need him. First thing that we must do is make sure that our relationship with God is intact. Yet God has created us for purpose, on purpose. But we have to understand in order to keep a relationship going, we can't just casually 
get in it. No, we must do our part. We know that God is willing, ready, and able to do what he does best, and that is to bless us. But we, as as his child, must do our part. We must stretch out in faith and believe God that what he said will come to pass in our life. To cast away all doubt, all fear, and unbelief out of your mind and in your life. Remember that Second Timothy 1 and 7 says, For God hath given us the spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. So people of God, the favor of the Lord, God's favor, it follows obedience. Where it says in 1 Samuel 15, 22, the big clause of the verse, to obey is better than sacrifice and to hearken than the fed of the ram. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, the favor of God comes only through faith and by faith. So we as God's children must release our faith for God's favor. We must release our faith for God's favor. As a child of God in the midst of these trying and difficult times that we are living in, faith is required in order for us to receive everything that we need. Faith is a requirement for a child of God in order to receive everything we need. Remember what the word of of God says in the book of Hebrews 11 and verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Yes, beloved, God's favor follows obedience. I'm going to say that again for those that are listening and those that will be listening at later today. Beloved, child of God, believer of Christ, God's favor follows obedience on our part. Yes, walking in obedience to God's word. It will open up it will open the door to truth, which God and protect us from the deception of the enemy. So let's walk in obedience to his command. So the Bible says that the devil goes as a roaring lion, seeking who he may devour. It also says in John ten ten. For the thief come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But Jesus came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. When we look at Second Second John chapter one verse six, it says that this is the love that we walk after His commandments. This is the command that as you have heard from the beginning, you should walk in it. And to love, the agape love of God, to do it in obedience. We just thank God tonight for his word. We thank God that he is a merciful God, that he is a God that sits high and looks low. That he is, that he is a God that Helps us even in our in our low moments in life. That He protects us each and every day of our lives. We just thank Him. We praise Him tonight because of His mercy, His grace, and His love that He extended upon us each and every day of our lives. We just hope and pray that was something that was said. 
here tonight that will bring you encouragement and exhaltation in your life to help you to go on further in the things of God from this day forward. So reach out to him and let the word minister to your soul. And if you you don't know him, this is the hour to, to get to know him. This is the hour to get right with God. Amen. Amen and amen. My brothers and sisters in Christ, if you would like to get in contact with us, with with Bustin' Loose and Faith Ministries, you can write us at P.O. Box 92864, Lafayette, Louisiana, 70509. You can address it. Address it to Dudley or Dudley and Lisa Tebow at P.O. Box 92864, Lafayette, Louisiana, 70509. God's will and Jesus Terry until we meet again on Friday at 6 p.m. We ask that you just continue to keep us up in prayer, and we'll do the same on our end. Touch and agree that God will just bless you according to his time. Read your word, the word of God on a daily basis. And I ask the Lord to help you as you read your word. Go in prayer in your secret closet. And see God move in your life in 2022. He desired to bless you, you and your family. But we must do our part. And God will do his. Have a blessed and safe night. God bless you is my prayer. Amen, amen, amen. Good night.